other cities have trolleys. Here in New Orleans, we have streetcars, and they're as much a part of the city as Mardi Gras. They're as much a part of our tourist destination as a means to get to work every day. Stick around as we get the heart of our streetcars on Big Easy Life. The New Orleans streetcars have the distinction of one of the first passenger railroads in the United States and one of the oldest continuously operating street railways in the entire world. Their history dates back to 1835 with the St. Charles Avenue line. Back then it was a passenger railway between New Orleans and a, and a distant resort town called Carrollton. Eventually Carrollton became part of the city but the St. Charles Avenue line still exists today. Some of the first streetcars to travel the streets of New Orleans ran on steam, but they were so noisy they were changed in the 1860s to horse-drawn only. It wasn't until 1893 that electricity became the main source of power as it is today. Streetcars dominated the city's landscape through the remainder of the 1800s and into the 1900s, with new lines being added into the 20s and then flourished through the 1950s with as many as 25 separate lines in operation. The popularity of the lines after World War II changed as a new era came in. Buses were replacing streetcars as a steady use for transportation. The last four streetcar lines in New Orleans were the South Claiborne and Napoleon lines, which were converted to bus in 1953. The Canal, which was converted in 1964, and the St. Charles, which has continued in operations and now has historic landmark status. Even with the popularity of Tennessee Williams' streetcar name Desire, it was many years before the beauty that is our streetcars began to return. In 1988, a new riverfront line was created. Using private right-of-way along the river levee, this was the first new streetcar line in New Orleans since 1926. Then in 2004, the canal line was reconstructed and restored to rail operation. An all-new line on Loyola Avenue has opened in 2013. It was extended across Canal Street on Rampart and St. Claude Avenue in 2016, and it is a short form of the historic St. Claude streetcar line. These lines have become an integral part of the transportation and tourism in the Big Easy. With this amazing past of ups and downs, it is such a central portion of the city, and if you come to visit, vacation or staycation, what should you know? Well, let's start with cost. The standard rate for a ride is $1.25 with a transfer cost to another line of 25 cents. But my suggestion if you're visiting is the Jazzy Pass. The Jazzy Pass is $3 a day for unlimited on-off rides on the streetcars and buses. You won't find a tour of the city anywhere for $3. You can ride from the edge of the French Quarter through Carrollton, out to the cemeteries on that one ticket. If you find a nice and knowledgeable local, they'll even give you the stories behind the places you pass. It's a must do in my opinion to take the green cars from the 1920s on the St. Charles line and follow it through the old world homes and sites as you work your way up river. I also suggest taking the riverfront line down to the French market and walk your way back through the French Quarter. The streetcar makes reaching many local attractions easy, such as the Aquarium, Harris Casino, Riverwalk Mall, World War II Museum, and Ottoman Park, as well as hundreds of great restaurants and hotels. Well, I hope we've given you a bit of history and some ideas for your next visit. Go check out the RTA Go app and get your Jazzy Pass. There'll be a link in the description below. Don't forget to visit our website at www bigeasylife.org and see our daily history moments on our social media platforms. And as always, thanks for being part of our Big Easy Life.